Well, people all across the mountains got outside today to enjoy the warm weather, especially knowing what the next few days will bring. News 13's Rex Hodge is live in Waynesville tonight. And Rex, the winter roller coaster of hot and cold is making for some very interesting sights. Yes, like scenes you might expect to see in the springtime or even summertime clothes on the slopes. Did you talk to us? Catch me on my next rundown. For Grant Kreider, it's a great day to snowboard. A sunny February day with temperatures at Catalucci near 50. For him... Well, it is what you make it. That means just wearing a t-shirt. Sure am. Soaking up the sun and the fun. Uh, it's great out here. Um, the only thing is when you fall, you get a little bit of uh, snow rash there. But, but it makes up for it being able to wear a t-shirt. Visitors from Florida may have expected something a little colder. Yeah, it's pretty, it pretty sweaty with these goggles on and stuff. It's sunny out here. We don't lose very much snow on days like today. Catalucci's general manager says a three to seven foot snow base will survive this winter warm-up. This is just part of uh, southern skiing. And when frigid air moves in this weekend, we'll maximize our snow making during the night during that and uh, we'll have a good weekend. Yay! Might be <laughs> zero by Sunday morning. Woo! <laughs> Until that happens, B. Bettingfield and her young daughter are quick to capitalize on Waynesville's temperatures near 60 degrees. And I'm from Michigan, so this is an amazing winter for me as well. We're definitely enjoying the February sunshine. And so is the guy at Catalucci from the Sunshine State. Uh, I don't even need this jacket on right now. It's pretty hot out here today. And Catalucci's general manager expects six more weeks of good skiing. He has a target date to close around March 29th. Reporting live tonight from Waynesville, Rex Hodge, News 13.